of rock inspired sort of what's happening here what yeah. am I doing where am I going I'm not sure I'll tell you what I got confused yeah look at the length of the heel on that I know isn't that just gorgeous it really is it's almost it like a uh, grit uh, sticks out a long way uh, hello that's my excuse anyway <laughs> welcome to Guitar Paradiso on Anderson TV I'm Pete I'm Mick been waiting for this for quite a while now I must say because yeah. I do get excited every time I see one of these guitars and we first saw them at NAMM 2016 where they were hanging on the wall uh, the new Duesenbeck guitars or at least some of them because I think we are missing a few okay. of the bigger uh, so the, the, the ones that's got a little bit of a bigger body on them a thicker body. yes okay well let's let's kick off from where we are yeah. I too am getting excited yeah. Obviously, uh, Duesenberg as a brand has been around for a good many years now. Yeah. And uh, it seems that whenever we get them, whenever we get one in the hand, Pete, yeah, in the hand, it's better than tin um, the roof. It always, good things always happen, and we we feel, we feel kind of rock and rolly, don't we? Yeah. But also, like, I don't know. It's just, it's yeah. There is definitely something there that wants to go, that just wants to scream out. But I, I, but then again. It's kind of feeling, I don't know, it's just, it's just so much, these guitars say so much to me yeah. as, a, as a guitar player. Character, character, character. Character, so much character and so much different character mm. from all of the guitars they make, you know. So, uh, in which so case, new models. Yeah. Pierre. Kick with, oh, with, with this gorgeous thing. Which profile, been, 2016, Peter is, is holding, wearing. <laughs> is wearing blue. Uh, no, he's wearing. Uh, Nav Navic blue, I'm wearing a Paloma in Navic blue. Yeah. And um, new shape for them. Um, I mean, solid body, older maple. Yeah. So uh, gorgeous. They also come in a red sparkle. Oh, cool. Which I was like, oh, have you got a red sparkle in today? And they only, unfortunately, they only had this one. But I'd still <laughs> like it. And it's not, you know. But I think the red sparkle is going to be um, yeah. sexy. Can you say that on YouTube? Sexy. You can Why say not? Sexy. So yeah. it's kind of bit. Yeah. You know, it's kind of little bit stratty with the old uh, forearm contour there. Little yeah. bit kind of offset up the front there. It's a little bit of a jazz master yeah. uh, kind of thing. So yeah, it's kind of a mix yeah, of... And it's got this bit here. So it's got that sort of... Yeah. That has got top. the thing down here, yeah. you know. And new single yeah. coils. Okay. So we know this. This is the Grand Vintage Humbucker. Yeah. 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 And these are called... Duesenberg has just the best names for everything. Of course. And these are called the Perlito. Perlito, yeah. And, and a Nico Blade, isn't it? But, but there's... Yeah, so... Yeah. So we, but so it's pickups that we know, but they are made by Duesenberg themselves. Mm. And then it's got this new, really sexy four-way switch here. Can I have mean, someone's eye out with that. And that would be really weird if you get your eye down there, but you know. Come on, let's hear it then. So, so we were debating what the switch actually does to the pickups because we couldn't seem to find any information on it. But we'll just um, we'll just play and see what happens. <laughs> Again, I love the tremolo arm. It's so smooth. Anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's the radiator um, vibrato or tremola, I think they call them. The short, short version. Short of them, version. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it is so smooth. I mean, have a listen to this.
Um, and that's, that was the front pickup here. So if I switch down, it's, it's so, so nice. Uh, second position comes this. <laughs> And I'm just, this is straight into the Fender Hot Rod. Yeah. Nothing else. It does sound, sounds mega. Nothing yeah. else. Okay, third position. There's so much sustain in it. So that's like I a phasey thing, it. isn't it? That's like a. Uh, and then the last position, which we assume is just a. It's. I've got nothing bad to say. A very resonant, chiming, pleasant experience. Yeah, and it just it's it feels yeah. because they'd used the plug machine to set them up and everything. It just feels nice, and yeah. this has just come straight out. You know what I like about them as well. So Duesenberg's been around long enough now to sort of move beyond the. I mean, yes, we said oh, it looks a bit like that and a bit like that, and yeah. for sure there are elements of the design taken from lots of classic guitars, but yeah. they absolutely have got their own thing yeah feel look sound yeah no doubt about it yeah um and one of the one of the sounds is um in that position whatever it was not that one not third, that one. third one down not wasn't that it? one um there's a bit of bottom end rolled off yeah and they do that on i think this one's got that as well as we'll come on so so if i just throw a bit of drive on there in oh, that position go on then got a nobles odr one on here so uh <laughs> Feedback, doesn't it? <laughs> Moving down, second position. Such a good sound. It's such that a good is sound. Such uh, a good guitar so, sound. All the way back. <laughs> happy dance <laughs> you can't, it's just ridiculous it's cool i've That's been waiting for this guitar try this guitar since nam okay. since i get and I've, I've been really excited about it because i i'm a you know i like single coils mm -hmm. um and i just this is great absolutely and you know what it's the most affordable one i believe that they do okay well i guess because it's a solid body so yeah so the links will be below so um yeah. anyway go and check it out oh my god <laughs> <laughs> We've probably missed loads of stuff like, you know, the Z tuners or whatever they yeah, are. Yeah, so, so they do their own tuners, um, again, which we've seen before, uh, the Z tuners, and you put the string through it and you tie it up and you cut them, and then, you know, yeah. you, um, so, so it's like locking tuners. Um, everything feels nice, pot feels nice. No pushy pullies. There's no pushy no pullies. Pushy it's, pullies. Not, it's not, it's not um, yeah, yeah. No, overly complicated, you know. No, but you know what I mean? Just check it. Just check it. You have to push and pull everything. Yeah. So, man, anyway, move on. Okay, this, this, that this, was exciting. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. So this, <laughs> this is also exciting. Yeah, um, that, I'm excited about that as well. So, thin line semis with a center block. Yeah. Which, is, of course, is nothing new uh, because that's what Gibson ES335 is. Um, a lot of guitars. 
but of course done with Duesenberg's unique take on things. So this is the grand, gran, as in, hello gran. Uh, hello gran. <laughs> the gran majesto. Um, there is a thicker body one, which you can find on the. Um, we'll put links below. Yeah, for all which the has new a different ones, name. Yeah. Anyway, Grand Majesto comes in double cut like this with stop tail, and single cut like this yeah. with waggle up. bar. Um, and you heard it on the intro there. So what's interesting about this? Um, double cut away, so s spruce and maple, as you would imagine, from a guitar like this with a solid center block. Um, these pickup covers, and that's what they are, they're pickup covers, they're not pickups themselves, are called Phonico, with a PH. Oh, Phonico, Phonico is so Art Deco, isn't it's it? Great. It's great, like... it's awesome. <laughs> um, and they are covers that sit over uh, Duesenberg's standard pickups. So just the same as we saw in, uh, in fact, not just the same as we saw in that guitar, but it's the same that are in this guitar, which we'll come on to in a moment. Oh yeah, this is a... A limited edition Soundgarden um, thing, but that's a grand vintage humbucker in the bridge, yeah, and a Domino P90 in the neck, which is exactly what is under here, yeah, and under there. But oh, it looks so cool. You get these kind of, I don't know whether you'd call them toaster tops or a bit like the old gold foils or something like that. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Floating pick guard. Um, actually, it's not floating pick guard because it's got a screw, uh, and single volume in tone. Right. I'm plugged into an AC30. Cool sound. Punchy, yeah. Ste I'm gonna step on some dirt here, thanks to a T-Rex Alberta two. <laughs> Just gonna knock that reverb down a yeah. little bit. As you know, Pete and I like reverb. Yeah, we do. Uh, maybe a little more tone cut just to take off some of that aggressive edge there. <laughs> For anyone who, who's never used a semi-acoustic guitar in a um, rock and roll setting, yeah. go and try it because you get it's just such a cool thing, and yeah. that is a cool thing. <laughs> So that's kind of your uh, light to medium gain and then heavier gain, again from the Alberta 2. When that happens, when you do when you when you play a guitar and you just go, I can just keep playing this. I'm not going to stop now because it's just, I don't care. I'm going to sit and play this for an hour, two hours, three hours. You know what I mean? Is that sort of thing, isn't it? It but does. That, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. what happens when you pick when you pick something up. Let's listen to that and then let's swap them over. Because okay. The, the bottom end on these amps is completely different. Exactly. So. so this is the one with a single cutaway and with the with the whammy bar with the radiator radiator. Same guitar, same construction, but yeah. d double cut, single cut. Stop tail. Um, um, different uh, pecs on this, open geared. That tuners. is called the, the re that's the full length radio radiator tremola. Yeah, tremola. tremola. 
And uh, check, the the, check, it, uh, check the tuners out on this one, open gears. Oh, open new gears. Ones. I actually prefer those, don't mind I do saying like, that. I like that, that's good. Anything that adds mass, adds mass to the guitar, adds mass. <laughs> Everything that, anything that adds mass to the guitar, you know, whatever. Uh, I like these. Open Have you got gears. asthma? Asthma. <laughs> anyway, let's hear this. <laughs> Amazing man, look how long it is. <laughs> it just does, doesn't it? It just makes you want to do that. What? I mean, just, just you want to do it every time because it's that sort of beautiful kind of tone. It's so precise. Mm -hmm. It's not like, you know, I've, I love a tremolo on my strats, even all my strats. They're a little bit sort of ropey and it's not turned in properly because I've lost a little, a little yeah, spring yeah, yeah. inside. And this is just brilliant. Yeah, try that. A up, man. Just to compare the two directly while, okay, you're, yeah. while you're in there. While well, I'm in the mood. I'm missing my arm now, Mick. <laughs> Where's my arm? Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's such a good color. I mean, wow. That sounds different. Yeah, it's very different, isn't it? It's very different. Yeah. <laughs> Is that well it's, it's not weird because um you've got less uh body there's le less yeah so, so in there's, there's less this, internal you've resonance that, yeah you've got the stop but tail so it's connected directly to the uh yeah to the center block it's so actually, it's not weird it's just it, me it's tighter sounding and, and you know if you're gonna bang away rock it's probably yeah. a much more it's, sensible choice yeah let's have some some rock <laughs> I didn't know, I just came up with something there to, to play it. Oh, really? But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the speakers are going, no, I can't do it, mommy. <laughs> it's, what a great sound. What a <laughs> blooming great sound. My goodness, I right. love it. I'm going to turn some tremolo on on here because, you know, we've got an AC30 in the house, so let's do it. <laughs>
that was emotional. Emotional. It's just drained. Dra- dra- <laughs> empty. Oh. <laughs> I need a pizza now. It's good noise. I mean, that's just lovely. You know, this is the first time we both have just sat back like this in any video of yeah, any other videos yeah, we've done. Just no, go, isn't it though? Go with the post postcoital comments, you know. Yeah, I know. But look, we both go. We both went like this at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mine. I need a cigarette, man. <laughs> yeah. Do you smoke after sex? No, I haven't checked. What is it? What is it, joke? <laughs> I don't know. I've never checked. Anyway. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, so. So. What do we do now then? Do you want this? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. I don't think I can play anything. Um, so this is the. So this is the Alliance Soundgarden. Star player. Yeah. So. Made ba- in conjunction with Soundgarden and. Um, Yes, made in conjunction with Soundgarden, the band, not necessarily with um, either uh, Kim or Chris, Kim File and Chris Cornell, obviously. Um, I think he plays one though, and there's a bass as well. Yeah, there's a bass but it's version not a signature model. It's 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 an homage, an homage yeah. to the band, such that this lovely perloid finish here is inspired by Black Hole Sun, by all accounts. The spark plug, Soundgarden fans will know from the cover of Bad Motorfinger, it's kind of in the middle on the front there. Um, and other symbolism from the popular beat combo Soundgarden. Yeah, such as... Uh, yeah, which for any, any, anyone of a certain age uh, were a massively important band. Yeah. Um, and remain a massively important band. Yeah, and there's only made a hundred of these, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. So it's a limited edition thing, and yeah. it is in Anderson's right now. So it's basically a Star Player TV. Yeah. Soundgardenized. Yeah. With exactly. Items such as this. Such as that. It does and look really cool. And we, I was looking at this the other day, and it is, it's, it's just really cool pearl inlay there and everything, and then lacquer on top of it. You have to see this guitar to appreciate it. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's, cool. it's so beautifully done. How, what does it sound like? It sounds like this. I can't stop touching the uh, tremolo. Come on, <laughs> stop it. It's just nice and spanky, you know. It's a shame that neither of us know the uh, opening chords from Black Hole Sun, but we don't, so there we go. You just have to imagine it. Uh, the P90, the beginning here. Do some works, P90. Just a lovely sound. Beautiful. Oh, I like it. They retain a lot of top end these guitars. Yeah, they do. Um, in a really lovely way. Yeah. You know, not in a shrill way, in a, just in a really nice way. And, and I just want to apologise for not being able to play any sound on because I don't really know anything. But we have done a top shelf guitar on this guitar which will be on the channel, so you can go and have oh, a look okay. at that. And uh, Paul has been playing it, and he plays a little bit of... Uh, oh, does he? Some, nice. Because uh, he's sort of that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. He can play that. So you can go over there, have a lick, have a listen to what it sounds like when Paul plays it, and it's lovely. Uh, middle position. So the so the so the back uh, pickup has got a lot of punch in it, so mm. it's great for. For that stuff. Play some heavy stuff because you've got a mud honey there. I've got a mud honey here. Let's see. What Just take that sound here. Do that sound. Because that's very...
That, of course, is not a Soundgarden lick. It's uh, from Temple of the Dog, which uh, Chris Cornell also sang in. Actually, Eddie Vedder sang on that song as well. Memories of a memories of a youth entirely well spent, Pete. Yeah, I, I, I never... I must admit, I never got, got that into it. I think I kind of... I don't know what happened there. Um, I should have done. Maybe that's 1990, my next... 1990, 91, 92, 93, 94, I had hair down to here, and I was in bands playing Pearl Jam and Red Hot Chili Peppers and Soundgarden. And, yeah. I was always kind of bluesy more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I should have done it. Anyway, I anyway. Done it. Um, so probably not that different from a regular star player TV and sonically, given that it's all the same shiz. Um, but yeah, limited to 100 pieces and um, very nice it Wonderful. is too. Yeah, come and try it out because it's in the store and you have to really see it to mm. appreciate it. Either. Every time I play one of these, I want one. <laughs> oh, that is what happens, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, you haven't played that yet. Okay. So what I think we need to do is, I don't think we need to say much more, do we? No, and we then, don't. Uh, I think what you need to do is just come and try these things out because they are incredible. They're their own thing. They are their own thing, but in a, yeah. in, I get so much inspiration when I play these guitars. And, you know, I'm not saying that just because I like them, but I really do like them a lot. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, you know, I love my Telecaster. I love my Strat. You know, I've got a gold subless Paul, which I love. I've got a 335. And all those guitars are like, they're, they're just great guitars, but they... They don't do this. No, no, no. It's a different thing. And it's a completely different thing. And so on that note, I think we just need to do a little jam out. And um, these were the, some of the new um, Duesenberg guitars. The Grand, Ma Grand Magesto. Grand Magesto, single and double, double cutaway. Away. And uh, the uh, Paloma Faith here, um, which also comes in a sparkle red. And the Soundgarden Alliance. Yeah. Beautiful. Sweet. Thank you very much for watching Guitar Parodies on Anderson's TV. I was Pete. I was Mick. And we will see you very soon. Okay. Take care. Cheerio. Bye.